Hi, I'm Holly Stewart, Education Specialist at Foldscope Instruments, and this is Foldscope Explores Microscopy Techniques Video Edition. Do you want to learn three microscopy techniques that can take your Foldscope explorations to a whole new level? Let's expand your skills so you can discover even more of the microscopic world. Technique number one, bright field versus dark field. Traditional microscope viewing is considered bright field microscopy. This means that the light from behind the slide hits the sample directly and passes through the sample and lenses to reach the eye. This figure shows a bright field image of diatoms captured with a foldscope, phone, and foldscope LED light. It can be challenging to clearly see structural details of transparent objects using bright field viewing. This is because there's very little contrast between the object and the background. Some specimens are easier to observe and more striking to view when the light reaches them indirectly. Because the light is coming from an angle rather than below, the background becomes dark, which contrasts sharply with the illuminated sample. To achieve this effect, shift the LED light on your fold scope to the side. The background will turn dark and the sample will appear to glow as the diatoms below. Technique number two, cast impression. Objects that are opaque cannot be viewed through a foldscope because a foldscope requires light to transmit through the object being studied. In order to study the three-dimensional features of opaque objects, impressions can be made using transparent materials like superglue or clear nail polish. To make a cast impression, apply a, a layer of nail polish to the object, let it dry completely, peel it off, and place the impression on a slide. This technique is great for studying leaf stomata and veins and for examining the tiny minute details in fossils. This picture shows the impression of the letter B in the word liberty from a U.S. nickel seen at 140 times magnification. The next picture shows the inside of the bottom of the letter B at 140 times magnification plus the 5x zoom on a phone. The extra magnification makes it look as deep as a cavern. This picture shows the almost ghostly impression of the Abraham Lincoln statue at the top of the steps of the Lincoln Memorial on the back of an old worn down U.S. penny. Technique number three, well slide. Some of the most fascinating microscopic observations are of life that exists in drops of water. Watching microorganisms moving about in their tiny, bustling communities can evoke feelings of wonder. Preparing a well slide is an easy way to help you make the invisible aquatic world visible. A ring sticker from Foldscope creates a three-dimensional space that can hold a drop of water. To use them, peel the ring off of the sticker sheet, stick it to the center of a slide, peel the clear sticker off the top, add your drop of water, then put the clear sticker back on to seal in the liquid. Place your fold scope, place it in your fold scope for further study. You can find pictures and videos of microorganisms swimming in drops of water on the Microcosmos or on Foldscope's YouTube channel.